Hey guys, how's it going? Jason Sational here. Welcome back to the channel where it is back with your Yasuo fan, me playing Yasuo Leona in 2022. So if you guys have seen the past videos of this deck, the decklist has remained relatively similar. Um, top end being like the Minas, the Pods, the Raven. Basically, this is a lot of the Daybreak support cards. And then this deck actually has Yasuo as more of a finisher because this deck is able to level up Yasuo really fast relatively fast um, because Yasuo is still a very difficult level up condition but then once you play Yasuo down after he's level he starts cleaning up the board and just does a lot of really powerful things so with the deck uh again the deck is just based around the daybreak package you have cards like the Slar shield bear the sunhawk really good because not only is this a daybreak but also he's stunned for Yasuo Slar priestess leona and raven as well as two copies of sunburst Another reason why we're able to level up Yasuo so quickly is because we are playing Infinite Mind Splitter as well. So um, because we have some quite chunky late game units, you know, level 5 drops, 6 drops, and 8 drops, which for followers, honestly, not many decks actually sort of run this sort of late game style of stuff. We have a card that I personally really enjoy, which is Greenblade Lookout. For those of you guys who have played other Viego Iona decks in the past, You'll have seen this card is be used to discount cards like Viego or the Hydrovine. And in this sort of deck, we're able to run twin disciplines because, of course, we're in Ionia, being able to protect the lookout to hit once, to hit twice, to discount our infinite mind splitter into something like six mana against a lot of these board-centric decks that we're seeing right now, that can be really, really backbreaking for them and often or not just win games on its own. A few other cards that are particularly good right now are cards like Will of Ionia, Concussive Palm, and Blinded Mystic. Again, a lot of these papercraft decks, um, if you just want to bounce them, you suddenly reset a lot of their mana. This can get rid of Elusives or any just like the buffed unit. On um, getting rid of Challengers, this denies a lot of the formidable cards. A lot of these silence tools are very, very strong as well. Because of the prevalence of cards that really get affected by perma hush or perma silences. I've chosen to add in two copies of Spaces Sketcher and two copies of Lunari Dustbringer into the deck. This does dramatically decrease our sort of top deck ability late game style of cards because originally I had these as much higher value cards, but now they're in here to A, just chump down a little bit of aggro, and B, just help find cards like Equinox. I think for the deck itself, you do really want to focus on getting the Daybreak package going first. A lot of people will be baited into keeping Yasuo in the mulligans or playing him as early as turn 4 um, when they have other better things to be doing. And it's really critical to note that Yasuo does not do much until he's leveled up. I think it's very critical to just sort of wrap your head around. And once you're thinking like that, then you'll start to play for your Daybreak package. Because once Leona levels up and then you play Yasuo, suddenly all your Daybreak cards are stuns and you can just chain off from there. So it's very important to not view this as... Uh, build around for Yasuo necessarily, but using him as more of a win condition instead. If you guys want a few, little bit more detailed videos on this deck in particular, I will include a deck guide that I have created on Yasuo Leona in the description below. But again, this is one of my personal favorite decks. I just really can't get away from it, and I actually did a little decent bit of climbing um, in flat earlier this week. So I went 10-5 with this list. Feels pretty okay. Um, okay is probably just where I cap it off. You can win, you can lose. It feels pretty just med power level, nothing too high or anything like that. But if you are here to play Yasuo, here's a deck list for you. So catch you guys with some games, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, and take care. Oh, uh, this matchup's interesting. Like, it's, like, weird, because, like, this season I haven't, like, found the deck that I want to be playing. Not that I like particularly dislike the meta right now. No decks just like clicked with me, and that's why like I'm still flat, right? I think last season around this time, I was actually in Masters, so definitely a little bit of a setback regarding regarding like how fast we've been sort of progressing in ranks, and that's why we're just playing Yasuo Leon because <laughs> at least I enjoy playing the deck. I'm not sure if I should have kept these cards, honestly. This is like slightly awkward. Like a four mana Raven against their deck is just like wild, right? 
The issue is he could just play MF and then we're kind of crying. Ooh, that's a card. I might protect this. He lets it through. Whoa. Okay, I didn't see that one coming. No MF either. Interesting. This is good for us, technically. Will to like bounce MF is really good. So if he wants to like sharp sight, that would suck. I guess I'll just twin here to trade. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage here, but you know, health is a resource. Gotta use it. He doesn't have MF, which is good for us. I'm a little bit scared of exactly Poppy. We'll see what happens. Sunhawk is really good. I'm not scared of Rally this turn. So I want to just try to go wide. Next turn I can just like double stun if it gets there. Maybe this finds like a one drop. It's not a one drop. So if it goes like pop into open attack, I think I lose though. Yeah, I lose to pop you open. Right. Oh, I should have attacked here. My bad. He has pop here, it's like kind of doomed. We'll see. His hand's just that crack. Or maybe this will might like save us. We'll see. How did we deal four damage then? Oh, pass. That pass is great for us. Because he's not representing lethal on the swing. Yeah, so tier one again. Hell yeah. So this stuns MF. Just fine. So it's very likely he has like say rally. We get a block off and then we shouldn't be dying to rally, which is the good news. We should probably attack with this. I don't know why he wouldn't. We'll see. So like if he rallies, I get a Sunhawk. Wow, is he really being that passive? I'm a fan if he's being that passive. I think he should just full swing and then like rally and then try to win the game. This passivity is only good for us. I don't think I care that much about this guy. So that saves this guy, unfortunately. Then if he rallies, it is stun again. Now will the MF. Okay. Love ya. Love ya. I do have to give up both Ravens. Is that true? Ugh. That would kind of stink. He does get a free challenge here on here. Like, maybe I should pre commit this just in desperate tempo. You also just play like I. It's like, if he doesn't rally now, he could easily just rally next turn, and it still presents like a sort of awkward position. Okay. That twin draw is excellent.
This is kind of scary. This is really scary. So I just need to prevent the rally from being good this turn. And then next turn we'll figure it out. This is sort of where I wish I had a Yasuo for obvious reasons. So this card is most assuredly Rally, and then we have to guess what the other card is. We're gonna potentially will his MF. He can't will it before his open attack, which sucks. I wonder if he's willing to attack with MF. I think he should, because I think I'd just be presented dead that way. But it looks like he isn't, which is only good for us again. So now he has no more board. If he wants to rally, he's sort of in an awkward position, and I can just will the MF. Hopefully I can then find like a three sisters or some impactful unit to kind of swing around again. So this saves this, but they just balance off. So relatively happy with this exchange. Because once he rallies... Oh, but I can't... Hmm. It's kind of awkward. I could hush the MF this turn when she rallies. I think that's probably the best play I can make. There is the sisters. Yeah, this is awkward because if I recall the MF, you could just play it again. So I probably end up hushing this. Am I dying is the question. Oh no, I get to stun the MF. Why did I take this? I'm not sure. So there's a rally. currently living oh we should why didn't we take the three sisters hmm i'm kind of questioning my motives here i'm a little bit confused wouldn't be a quest without some danger if we can hush this and then meteor shard these two and then we can just will the MF later. We're so close. <laughs> We're actually insanely close. I probably don't want to give up the Leona though. Uh, not right now. Not being able to kill this is very problematic for us. Like, I'm tempted to just block here, and then I play this to stun both of these. Oh god. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it one bit. is so brutal. I think Leona's too important here. That second resolve was so backbreaking. Okay. Oh! 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Does that do it? Oh, we still have to will the... Oh, but we get to kill the MF with the will. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The MF's dead? What a top deck. What a top deck. <laughs> yeah, so last minute coming in the latch as heck. Oh, we should have. I oh, should have full swung and then we could have win for lethal as well. That was my mistake. I could have just won the game this turn if I had just attacked here. Because then I just win offensively and he's forced a double block. But MF dies here. I think I have to be happy with that. So even though I made a slight misplay at the very end, it shouldn't cost us the game. Yeah, this doesn't win him. So I got a little bit lucky there. Like, we weren't in a position that at least we didn't get punished for setting up the play like that. So we got lucky there, for sure. What is this? <sighs> Feels good to win with Yasuo, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I just play either Horak. It kills both of these and I have a nice clean open attack. Oh, he's gonna let me swing? What a, what a... Lippin, you are a good sport and a wonderful player. No, okay, whatever. That's fine, though. Good man. Good man. We're actually climbing. That's funny as it is. This is the only deck that I'm able to climb with right now. Kind of funny. Base lock. Fox is scary for sure. This is interesting. Like, keeping the Mind Splitter just a discounted is pretty good. But, like, having a 4 mana Raven is just so cracked. Kinda weird. Oh. Ah. Oh, never mind. Yeah, okay, yeah, 7 mana mind splitter, you know, that's pretty okay. It's pretty okay. Why aren't you Leona? I'm gonna pass just in case he plays a 2 drop. If he plays a 2 drop, I get a free trade off. Numbers is good because it kills stuff. Remembrance. Kinda hot. That's so annoying. We could like will it and play the lookout. I wanna save this for champion. Stunning this here doesn't really change the fact that it's still on the board. Then we get an open talk with the lookout and that's pretty good. We can also just play Yasuo and that's pretty okay too. Like we'll just fork his mana, right? Oh, never mind. So good. If he mystic shots. Oh, no oh, mystic. Let's go. Okay. This is pretty good for us then. I'm happy with our current situation. Because he wants to replay this, I can then stun it now. And if I get a six mana mind splitter, I think I'm very ahead in this game. Unfortunately, I don't have enough mana there. It's a really good card. It's so good. I get a 6 mana Mind Split, I can just play it this turn. And then his development is a little bit forked. Not that he knows I have this, which is like even better, right? It's like if he just like take plays the moose, he's just like so ruined. I'll take a pass here just in case something weird happens. 
I'm not sold on this pass, but if he's not developing, I think that's good for us. And then if he passes the next turn and then, then develops, he gets punished. Like, I could play this, but then you get to have something, I guess. I don't know what something is, but perfect. I can kill Lux with no uh, issue here. And she can't flip locks either. I could have played the Mind Splitter, and that was okay. But then, like, we played for Damasi and then killed my Yasuo, or like some six drop and killed my Yasuo, then that's like a little bit awkward. I'm being really patient with this Mind Splitter. Maybe too patient. We'll see. It's like, even if he plays this, we just stun him out of the game. Not out of the game, but do some pretty significant work. Your entire life. Oh, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Hold of Durant, sure. Real Yasa Leona gaming, yes. It is indeed real. So I get both cards here, which is cracked. Oh, we're nuts. I'm gonna save my Daybreak cards until I find a Leona here. We're so good. We're so good. We're actually so good. Oh, Agent Coil follows well. Thanks so much, man. Question is, do I want to like bait him into like tapping under Mind Splitter? How would I do that? No. I would really like to get the Mind Splitter going though. Like, so insane if I can get it off. You know, just like open with Spacey onto what? It's nothing I want to Spacey. What if I just open pass? He open attacks in the same position? Uh. Okay, whatever. Hey, I see you're into card games. Out of curiosity, have you heard of or played Infinity Wars the TCG? I feel like somebody has mentioned that, but I have not heard. I've heard someone mention it. I don't know what it is, and I have not played it. Like this, this just isn't that good, unfortunately. So when he plays that next turn, we just sunburst, and then it stuns too, right? I think we got a little bit... How should I say? Greedy. Not greedy, but... I think we should have played the Mind Splitter sooner. Or at least, like, set up this turn to be able to play the Mind Splitter. Oh! God! Okay. Alright, bye Yasuo. Yeesh, that was not... That was not the position I would like to be in. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we should have played the uh, Mind Splitter. It's so weird that we just weren't able to play 6 mana Mind Splitter. You have a... Yeah, um... I'll just... I can DM it to you. Or, like, whisper it to you. I can 
figure that out. Or if you want to whisper me real quick, I can respond to that. Let me get to you after the game, though. So this kills this, and then the Daybreak goes off and stuns this. Pretty nice. These don't have challengers, so I can chump block these. You just lost. What's up, buddy? I can take six, I guess. Now I can maybe finally play the Infinite Mind Splitter next turn. Okay, I think Leona has done her part. Now transition into the late game. Soft pass with this will play Mind Splitter into Twin. Hopefully, he doesn't have a Lux anymore and he just plays like the Moose. Perfect. Now, if he wants to conserve his strike, I guess I have a Twin. I no longer have the ability to represent like a Deny or something. Maybe I should have took Scourge, just to, like bum rush him down. <laughs> Wait! Oh no! No no no! What? Oh my god! I'm kind of molding with that one. Mm, that was not very cool of him. That was not very cool at all. Well, hmm, mm hmm, yeah, hmm. I don't want to waste my daybreak just in case I need it. Hmm. -hmm. If it's like another shock blast and I play sisters, I'm gonna feel kind of dumb. It's not like he just ripped shock blast off of that, right? Oh, nice, okay. Happy with this outcome. Gotta trade, gotta trade, gotta trade, gotta trade. I'll probably keep this healthy. Like, two valley trades here is like kind of sick. We're still a little bit away from winning the game. I'll we'll have to figure out how exactly we do that. Maybe it's for it. We'll hold on to it for now. Um, ugh, all these cards are useful. I think we just stitched the twin then. Oh god, I wanted to find messenger there. These are not where I want to be. Alright, we need some good top decks here. Otherwise, we're just going to get drowned. Uh, that is a top deck. Doesn't help us this turn. No sharp side, okay. He top decks like a champion, it's like kinda over. So we'll hope for the best. He also just has two six mana spells that I have no idea what they are and freak me the heck out. Like what if he just rips like a four to Masi off of it? So insane. Oh 
Oh god. So much tempo. I have a feeling he just pulled like a Ford Amasia. Did you just backpack? Was that from the financer? Um, not sure. Some of these decks actually do run back to back. Oh, Deny is a good draw. Like some of these decks actually do run back to back as a like a main deck card. So it could be a toss up. Am I dead? I'm probably just dead here, huh? Like if he gets another back to back off of finance here, I'm just like done. So bizarre. Oh, that that transmogulator just uh really put a dent in my plans, huh? Oh, that transmogulator was insane from his side. I'm not liking where this is going. By value block, I could get really punish. Oh yeah, it's not like he has a way of dealing two damage, huh? Ugh. I think we need like a little bit more of a win condition in this deck. Right now we're a little bit lacking. This deck feels okay. It actually feels like Jace Lux, but like slightly weaker. These two decks are honestly like probably pretty close in sort of how they actually function. Aesol top end. <laughs> oh. Roth Yasso? What? No. Why would I do that? <laughs> I have a feeling that was Shock Blast. If he had it, I don't know why he didn't just like rip it. We're kinda close? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I have a feeling we're like so goddamn close. In case he has some like elusive. I didn't check if that shock blast was created or not. I think that was top decked. Which is a little concerning. Alright. We're just losing in like two turns though, huh? It's funny that we're not losing yet, but Nidiasa so bad. Uh, also be okay here, I suppose. Oh, that's a card. That is Yasuo. But I don't have any... Like, killing these is pointless, right? I think it's just sisters here. Like, finding Yasuo is just not doing me anything right now. As long as he can't like just kill me with like a shock blast and I can get a heal four from the sisters, I honestly feel okay. Unless he of course he draws like a lux. Okay. That pass was a little bit strange from him. He could also have judgment. So let's keep in mind, you know, just the range of different cards he could have. It's not shock blast. It's there's potential for, like, judgment. That uh, Hex- oh my god. Icequake off of Hextech Anomaly? Uh, you wish Leona had topper overwhelm? Wait, is that good for us? I have no idea if that's good for us or not. <laughs> what? Was that actually the play from his side? That's so bizarre. I feel like... Oh, what a top deck. I, I think, in my personal opinion, both Leona and Yasuo are quite balanced. Kind of a funny one. But, in my opinion, I think they're balanced.
it's just that everything else is just like slightly st a, a, a lot of other things are just stronger in what they do i think i'll just find deny here okay all right perfect so now we just find deny and i believe there's no way we should lose we could even just like sunburst plus scattered pod can now sunburst plus scattered pod and then we just present lethal in quite a few different ways oh no we can't i'd rather play this though leona doesn't count as try hard climbing i'm i'm climbing i don't know about you buddy but i am climbing what do we want here like can we play the deny like maybe uh when disciplines is just better. So we've played one deny. We've played one twin. I don't want to get hush though. So ugh, this is tough. So we can't come at fast speed. I have three blockers. I think I just want it's like he's gonna sharp sight one of them if he has it. And then he blocks here and he needs to kill this. So you need a concerted strike plus sharp, but then twin doesn't do anything. So I should just take the deny. If I hit it. We're so good at this game. Let's go. Mm-mm-mm. Ha! -mm. Ah, got him. Russicles is just mad because bad, am I right, chat? <laughs> Alright. We have the attack token pog. Um, we just need to find units here. And no fearsome blocker is a little bit scary, but as far as a hand goes, this one's not bad. I keep forgetting my emotes are kind of messed up. <laughs> it's good because if he goes predict guy, we have the block. Rex is a little annoying. It's a really good draw. Blocks are fine here. We have nothing that we just play this guy honestly. We also just play Leon out here. Not particularly afraid of too much. I'm gonna save my stuns for when I think I actually need them. Right now I don't really need them. Block, block, block. Worst case scenario, I'll just play out this spacey. Yeah, this is fine. Realistically, it's Rek'Sai never levels. Hmm. Could be better. We had a nice block here, thanks to the shield bear. Health is a resource. And then we have a nice like meteor shard to follow up. Or like we set up Yasuo and stuns. This opens up the Concussive Palm. What's really nice about him having only lurked Rek'Sai 
is that you don't need to be afraid of Pike, which is kind of cool. Like, whenever he plays Rek'Sai, it's just not good for him, right? So we have the Fearsome Blocker, we can stun this, and then we set up a nice Meteor Shower whenever. So, let's be mana efficient, get down our Leona. Because now he barely has attack here. These guys don't... These guys get value trade when he attacks. But he also is sort of forced to attack because he needs to get Lurk proc, right? He can't just, like, miss a Rex or a Pike on top of his deck. Oh, wow. Oh, wild. Actually kind of crazy. But now we have a very nice meteor shower here. That's so wild. He lurks to XI three times already. Angel TCG, how you doing? Yo, yo, yo. Really good draw, honestly. Because now I can go really wide. Yasuo's still very far off, unfortunately. I have a palm to stop whatever is going after Yasuo. Equinox is fine. He's not in a position where he can just, like, play Rek'Sai. Hmm. I'm tempted to save this Leona. I wonder if he's just dead on the swing. Because... You would need to exactly hit Ike here. I also just don't have a way of... I don't have any more Daybreak cards. So I guess it doesn't really matter. What I can do is like, preemptively Palm here, and then Blind and Mystic this guy. Now this goes down to 2 attack. This might even be Leaf on the swing. Now he has no attack here, because if he gets chumped, it's can't block Yasuo anymore. And this honestly should just be lethal. Yeah, it's lethal. Magic Johnson with the counter matchup. This matchup is extremely brutal. This hand though is extremely pretty okay. So like we need a turbo level Leona, and then we need a turbo level Yasuo, and then we win. A shin mark. That's the goal at least. It sucks if he has Catalyzer here. Five mana pods, not bad. He doesn't have Catalyzer, we might just be able to farm. Well, that's huge. I a Mystic also pretty good, you got a buff here. It's like if he tries to go for a double ping, we do have like the twin. I had the Catalyzer. So like he wants to stress defense it? I'm gonna buff it. Still leaves me full enough mana to play Sunburst here. But if I can just like farm some discounts here, I'm feeling pretty happy. Oh, he doesn't even have Vagar. It's wild. 
I'm gonna pass just in case he has another one and then I can silence it. But Yasuo here is so good too. Well, Yasuo here is not that good, but it's better than passing, right? So worst case scenario, he has a second Catalyzer, but that wouldn't make sense because he would have just played on 2 and 3. So most likely he doesn't have a second Catalyzer. And wants to double ping it. Ooh, no double ping. Second Yasuo is really good. I'm going to save up my mana just in case he plays like a Senna and I can Sunburst it. And another discount here, which is really insane. Ah, huh. Yeah, I don't know what I should do here. He didn't have Vagar, or at least I presume he didn't have Vagar. If Vagar sticks for a turn, it becomes a 4 mana darkness, and that feels kind of bad. Uh, this is awkward because I'm the tempo deck here, right? I can just find like a twin disciplines, I guess. Like it's kind of awkward being the tempo deck and kind of having to take those passes. Okay, it's now like my Yasuo dies here, which, you know, isn't that big of a deal. Because I do have another one. I just probably won't play this one until I level Leona. Oh, interesting. He passes back. That's such an interesting pass. That's such an interesting pass. I could just try like Sunburst his Vagar. He plays like a Mist Call. So we're in the same boat. I feel like I just want to apply pressure and I just play like another 5 drop. Then I could get punished by a lot. I can just play Sunhawk and kill the Conchologist. At least we need to progress our game plan somehow. Now we still at least have mana for Sunburst or 4 mana for Mystic. Well, you know, also just removing this from his board. Also makes his Mist Call worse if he has it. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> wow, that's the best feeling ever. When they just midi morph your stupid Yasuo. That's the best feeling in the world. So the smart thing is now if he has the Mist Call, it's guaranteed to bring it back. Oh, he does have the Mist Call Pog. Now we're safe to kind of just develop. That's a good draw. You can just swing first and then save Sunburst. I'm not a huge fan of being such passive with it. I want to find Deny here, I think. Like, he threw in both Sunbursts. Nice. Radelski? Is that how you pronounce your name? What's up, buddy? Thanks for tuning in. I don't want to twin block this. Doesn't seem right. It's now just straight up ahead on tempo, right? Once these become elusive, it's like game over. We have to deny for like some surprise ruination. This heals a bit. I probably just have to chump block here. We're just so far ahead right now. We can even silence it. Saving this is actually kind of relevant. Still two turns before they even get elusive though. It's relevant enough. It's like he's gonna have to spend another three mana to even try to deal with it. And now, nine mana. Hmm. I'll pass one more time. Barry's just gonna kill that. So I'm just gonna deny him the heal then. What if I deny this? It's probably not a deny yet. Make the 
think I'll play Yasuo here. Well, I can play Mind Slayer Deny next turn. Okay, we'll pass. I think I'm pretty happy taking the passes here now. I just need to wait for this to get elusive and then just two clock, right? He over develops in a way I do have the mind splitter as well. He's sort of forced to develop first because I have the clock on him here. One goes down, thousands to go. Right. That's a problem. I do need to stun this or at least kill it in some capacity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this got slightly awkward. Kill it now so I can't get a second darkness. Just mean my Raven's not active anymore. So now he needs to create another darkness from him. I still do have the deny that I can sort of hold up. No stuns for Yasuo. It's kind of what the Mind Splitter is for. Mind Splitter helped me level up Yasuo and then Yasuo becomes removal on a stick. Until then, we're needing to take a patient. We'll just do this, because then at 2 health, it dies the Yasuo, if we need to get there. Uh... It's not really a problem yet, because we're at 20. Now I have to be a little bit careful, because now everything just suddenly dies removal. Not like a crescent strike here, we're just like popping off. No crescent strike. Probably just messenger here. What are we looking for? And we just have like a fine attack here anyways. Like we just open attack and force him to trade off a good bun. Oh, Leona's really good. Because now we get to Raven into Leona into Yasuo and that's gonna just pump up the board. I don't really care about Whale. He still forced to darkness this. And then I have an option of what I want to do. He plays another unit, might just be the Mind Splitters, because I do need to level up Yasuo if I ever want to kill the Vagar. Oh, he's going phase. Interesting. I'm not sure he could... I'm not sure if going face is the right play for him. It's a good card. Because now we're in. Ruination no longer does anything, and now we're just aiming to stun block the deck. No heal in the deck? No. Ooh, that's a card. That's insanely good. We do have a deny. We could will the Vagar. Like, we have options here. We don't need to do it yet, though. Oh, this dude versus aggro? It's not great. <laughs> I can't say it's very great. Any deck that just plays like 5 1 drops, you probably just lose to. It's definitely more into mid range kind of stuff. This morning's light. Ooh. That does quote unquote kill me. I can just like will the Vagar here. I'm curious what this does. I just don't have enough stuns yet. Like I just like will the Vagar. I think I just win here honestly. That's true. Not quite true. So, I play this to stun this, I deny the one going face. I'm still- I can't develop. Hmm, kind of a pickle. I'm just slightly behind on the Yasuo, which is slightly unfortunate. 
So I'll let him pick what he wants to kill at least. And I'll slow him down by a turn. Just slightly unfortunate. If Yasuo's leveled here, I just straight up win. I'm tempted to deny the one hitting the Raven. I'm gonna lose a Ruination if I do that. The Raven's kinda critical to my game plan here. So funny. I think Raven just too insane here. It stops his attack, and then it makes my next turn better. Super serious, but it's Yasuo. How are you enjoying it so far? Um, I mean, I love the deck. <laughs> uh, not much else to say there. So if he ruinates, I gotta play Mind Splitter, even if I play Sunhawk. These two stuns flip Yasuo, at least. So now if he ruinates, I just play an 8 it, and I say, you don't have anything. What's really funny is Biofeast doesn't quite do what he thinks he does here. Oh, interesting. Because now if he's going to play a unit, I'm just going to stun lock him out of the board and just win. Pretty sure he just loses here no matter what happens. Oh wait, I'm using the wrong Yasuo skin. Ah! It's a good thing I do love the classic skin. Oh, we beat Darkness! Woo! Let's go! Oh yeah, dude. I, I love this deck. So that's going to wrap it up for the games. I hope you guys enjoyed the deck as well as the games I showed you guys. If you guys did enjoy, please do leave a like and a subscribe to the channel. It does help me out, especially if you have made it to the end. If you have made it to the end, feel free to put in the comments below Yasuo number one. Something like that. Just to let me know and I can thank you guys for tuning away all to the end. But um, hope you guys enjoyed the games, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow for your daily content on this channel. Thank you, and see you guys next time.